everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Emma and I have two children two daughters and I am 37 weeks pregnant and an important part of self-care to me is getting ready in the morning feeling energized to take on the day um, just giving myself a little me time so I figured I would film a get ready with me kind of show you what I do in the morning um, and how I take time for myself. So currently I just washed my face. I just use like the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser and I took a shower last night. Um, so now I'm gonna go in with a like moisturizing serum. Talked about this in my last video, but this is the Essence Hello Good Stuff. Primer Serum Hydrate and Plump. I don't know if you can see that, but at night too, I use like a heavier cream. Right now I'm using the Jason's Vitamin E, Vitamin e Serum. And I really like that a lot because with pregnancy, I have such dry skin. Like I'm not even kidding. I don't know if you can see on my chin there, I have like this dry patch. It's like scaly it's really bizarre but anyways it takes like my skin is just thirsty while being pregnant so anyways this is like the most important step to my routine otherwise things will look a little wild and crazy um so now i'm using the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base i love this stuff this is really great um this feels like more of a thicker, like a really thick moisturizer. I just brought you a little closer in so that it was just easier to kind of see what was going on. But um, I have two like shimmer primers that I like to do next. I either choose from the Spotlight Illuminating Primer by Physician's Formula, or I use the True Match Lumi Glotion. I really like this stuff, so I'm going to use this one today. So, I just really smooge that all over my face. <laughs> there's no, there's no strategy to how I do it. Just take a little, a little dollop, rub it on in. I have the, where, where is it? Bare Minerals, Bare Minerals, Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. So I um, just do a couple pumps of those. Dot it onto my face. Nothing crazy, again, like not, I'm not looking for full coverage. Just, just a little something, something. I use the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So next, I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Medium to Deep. Um, she's loved. She's loved. Awesome. Okay. Done with that. Next, my new favorite step, I never used to highlight my face, ever. I was always a person who liked to be, um, my husband and kids are playing outside, so I can hear them playing in the sprinkler. <clears throat> I was always the person who liked to be as matte as possible, but now I much prefer to have some glow to me, some dewiness, so 
that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna go in and set my face with the Professional Super Setter Spray. I am going to go in with a ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Lunch Money. My camera overheated, so I just went ahead and put the highlighter on, not too much. I just put some here on my nose, Cupid's bow over there, done. Love that stuff. If you're looking for a new highlighter, it's like eight bucks. Pick it up. Love this stuff. Got it at Ulta, but also you can go on ColourPop. They've got a bunch of options. Um, usually, at least in my Ulta, the ColourPop section is usually cleared out. It's in like the the cheaper half of the Ulta and usually the stock in there is not quite as good. So if you can't find it in your local stores, definitely go online and grab it. I'm gonna start off with my Smashbox um, 24 hour photo finish shadow primer. Stuff is the bomb. I just rub it on my fingers, get it nice and warm. Going to be using the ColourPop by the Rose palette. This I, I love it because it's neutral, but not quite. It's you know more of a pinky um, palette, which is nice. Um, so I get some color instead of my usual like monochromatic brown that I do. Um, this is it. Really cute colors. Some nice like starter shades, um, blending shades, and then some deepening guys, and then like a couple different options for shimmers. Love this. Nine pan. I forget exactly how much it was, but not expensive. Totally doable. Okay, so I am going to start off by just doing a sweep of, what is it called? Picnic basket that guy, just put it all over my lid. So now, I am going to go in with Sunday Soiree, this guy right here. Okay, great. Now I'm going to go in with um, Evervescence, which is this shade right here. So I just used this guy as the base, this one, and now I'm using this guy. I'm going to take Savor It. The darker guy. It's reading brown on the camera, but it is kind of like a really deep um, mauve color. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of that into the outer crease. And then just blend it out with the um, side I was using uh, for effervescence. What I'm going to do now is take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. It's just the classic, everybody has white jumbo crayon. And put it on my lid. Just so the shimmer can stand out a little bit more. So I think what I'm going to start off with is this ripe color here. Pop that onto my lid. Um, Okay, awesome, so my camera overheated, but I took the opportunity to just do the other eye. Um, I put the ripe shimmer shade on the top of my lid and then just put a little bit of Cheers Babe 
on top of that. But now looking at my eyes, I feel like it just needs to be a little bit darker in the corners. So I think what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of sweetness and pop it on the corner of my lid. Can you tell a difference? I feel like I can tell a difference. Okay, whatever. I like that better. Let me do it to the other eye. I'm going to pull some of these shadows that I used and just pop them under my eye just to kind of smoke it out a little bit. I'm going to pop some liner on and I will be right back. I'm going to go in with my It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I swear by this stuff. I will show you the difference that it makes. So I'll put mascara on this side and then show you how incredible it is. I'm gonna get you on this product. Okay, are you ready? This is clearly without the mascara. And that is a with the mascara. Okay, great mascaras on both eyes. Now I'm just gonna hit the eyebrows real fast. So what am I using? I'm using the pre uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit and it's in 3.5. And I'm literally just going to line the bottom of my eyebrow. Then I'm going with like the tiniest little flicks, I'm just going to Bring it up a little bit into the top of my eyebrow. And then I'm going to very professionally take my finger and just smudge it up. Just to kind of diffuse it a little bit. So I feel like it looks still very natural, not that it's filled in because there's still this like sparsity right here that um, mimics a natural brow obviously. But just by creating that line, I've given myself some more shape. Okay, awesome. So this is the complete look. Um, thank you if you stayed this long. Um, thanks for sticking around. Make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see new videos. Um, I am new to this, but it's been really fun to just have an outlet for creativity and taking time for myself. Um, this is definitely not my everyday look, but it was fun to get dolled up and try it out. Um, I, the only thing I have today is an OB appointment and I'm going over to a friend's house to pick up a unidentified um, squash plant. We're not sure if it's a summer squash or if it's a pumpkin. So I'm going to pick it up from her house, plant it in my garden, see what happens, get a little wild. But I'm going to go into my OBs and they're going to be like, where are you going today? Mm, home? Home after this? Maybe Duncan? Who knows? Might get crazy. Um, if you have any ideas for videos you'd like to see, um, I'd love to hear it. I was thinking I could, if people wanted to, step out of makeup for a second and maybe show you some baby-related things like my essentials, my newborn essentials, or what I'm packing in my hospital bag, or um, how, how it is just having two kids and a third on the way, um, lifestyle videos, or I really like stationery. So any of that kind of stuff, just brainstorming. But um, I will see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye.